Hi guys, it's Tracy in Australia and I have another project to share this week. It's a loaded envelope with a Halloween theme and it's actually my design team project for Calico Collage for the month of September. We were sent these paper dolls to work with and I decided to use mine as a decorative feature on a loaded envelope. I thought it would be um, a fun, quick project. So in the doll set, which is called Little Witches, you get three dolls and you can mix and match all the pieces to make it very um, personal. And I've printed mine out on matte photo paper, which I think is um, about 220 GSM, so it's quite heavy. And then I also um, covered them on the back with vintage music paper, and you can see that here. So what I did for a little bit of something different was to actually use paper brads um, on the limbs to make them articulated so that they move. And um, I just thought that was a fun thing to do. On the arms, I've only used the brads on the shoulder. Um, you could, of course, do that on the elbow as well. And I've glued some of the decorative elements that are included in the set um, onto the arm. So she's got this really cool little pumpkin, which I've added a bit of um, foil to, and a book of spells. And on the dress, I've just added some black embroidered lace and also this really cute um, beaded eyelash trim. And so it has beads as well as lots of little bits of fluff. So just an overall fun thing to do. All right, uh, I'm going to show you the pocket first and then talk about what I've used in um, to decorate the, uh, with the ephemera pieces. So my pocket has three openings and I've stitched around it. I really love the contrast of the orange and the black uh, paper and really happy with how that turned out. I'm actually going to um, walk you through how I did the pocket um, after I've, we've finished looking at the ephemera. So down here I've got the words October the 31st and I've put some muslin behind that. That actually comes from um, a, a set that uh, Norella's recently added to her shop called Vintage Halloween. Now I love vintage Halloween images even though I'm an Aussie and we don't really celebrate Halloween and I must confess to a little collection of vintage Halloween fabric and also postcards and things like that. So I couldn't resist this little set. It was perfect to use as the ephemera. How gorgeous is this? Little witch. I love the red ribbon around her hat and she's squeezing this little kitten and sitting on a huge pumpkin. Doesn't get any better than that. This um, cat is part of the ephemera that comes with the witches, so I thought that was a really cool addition. And then there was just this really cute little card. Into the middle pocket, I um, put this word find. How cool is that? And I love the fact that it's got the word Halloween up here. But it makes it really interactive, so I thought it was a really cool idea for an ephemera set. And then there's just another little um, retro card. And I like the word that you, the way that you can still see the word Halloween and I've got October 31st down there. And I also decided to add the broom from the witches set. Why not? And you could do it either way, up or down. And then there's also a crossword. How cool is that? And I've added this little butterfly up there. I love that. And I wanted something, um, a large tag to go um, up the top. And I wanted to be able to add this orange seam binding just to give a little pop of color up the top. So what I did was to make my own card and I've added this image which comes from one of Norella's other Halloween um, sets and it's actually a journal called uh, Hallowed Felines. And then these little um, tags that I've made, they're from the Vintage Halloween. So I just used the orange cardstock and I've added those words to it, punched a hole and put it onto there with a bulb pin. And that just goes in the top 
to finish it all off and I think that looks fantastic. So really quick, fun project. Loved it. Loved doing this. So I hope you've enjoyed that. So I will just quickly run through how I made my pocket. So I just took a piece of 12 by 12 paper and it is paper, it's not cardstock. I didn't want it to be really thick. Um, I did use Lindy's sprays on mine to get the effect that I wanted, but you could really do anything. It's more about um, the pocket. So what I do is just folded it in half and ran, ran my bone folder along there to make that line. So once I've done that, I had to decide how big um, the back of it was going to be, like the largest pocket. And what I decided on was about seven and a quarter inches. So I folded that up, uh, ran my bone folder along there. Okay, so you've got fold in half and then fold at seven and a quarter. Okay, so that leaves you with this. Now I've got to make my pockets because there's only one pocket here. So what I did was just to fold on an angle from this point here down. This is about two and a half inches. So I folded that and creased it. Did the same at the top. Went from that point there to about two and a half inches. That gives me this. So I then open it up and where I have this crease, I actually folded it back the other way, All right? And then I glued this part just with some white glue, Elmer's, Aileen's, doesn't matter. Glued that down there. Same over here. I've just used the crease, folded that, and glued this down. So I've got these two glued pieces. And if you then fold it in half on the line that's already there, fold it again, you've got your pocket. So you've got this pocket here, this one here, and this one here. So that's it, pocket completed. So at this point, you could actually glue that down and there you've got um, a loaded pocket to use. I wanted to have the contrast, so what I did was to cut two pieces of paper, one that was the size of this rectangle and one that was the size of this rectangle. And I'll just demonstrate what I did. So I've cut that, it's about that size, you can see. And I actually just glued that in there so that you could have that contrast. So the way that you do that is you open out, you've got those two bits, they're glued down. You cut a piece that fits in there, you cut a piece that fits in there and you've got those backed pockets. All right, so once you fold it back up, there you are. Let's pretend there's another one up there. I actually took it a step further and decided that I wanted to have um, the contrast stitching. So again, before I glued anything down, I stitched along here, I stitched along here, and I stitched along here. So that when I folded it back up, I've got stitching here, stitching here, and stitching along there. That then means that I stitch from here, right the way around, pocket finish. How easy is that? Okay, hope you found that useful and not too confusing. If you've got any questions at all, just leave um, um, a note down below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.